Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's Christine with Gage Girl Training, food scientist, author, and chemical engineer. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how fast you can reset your hormones. So, let's get started. So if you're struggling with your fat loss and you find out that hormonal imbalances are a part of that equation, it can actually be quite a relief because you found the missing key that is causing you to either plateau, that is causing fat gain, and is having you feeling like crap. There are two answers I'm gonna give you to this question, how fast you can reset your hormones. The first answer is holistically, if you're making gradual changes, making a lifestyle shift, we're talking three to four months, but you can make serious changes in as little as seven days. Yes, as little as seven days. And in this video, I'm going to talk about things that you can practically do within a time frame that you will see actual changes. So let's get into it. So the number one thing you want to do to accelerate balancing your hormones is to reduce and eliminate chemicals and pesticides in your diet. So you wanna start right away by going to a real whole food approach to your nutrition. Where possible, you want to eat all organic, 100% where possible. You wanna get rid of chemicals in your diet. Anything with artificial flavors, artificial sweeteners, you wanna get rid of refined and processed sugars. You wanna get rid of plastics. You want to get rid of any polyphenols. You want to get rid of anything that has any toxicity to it. You want to get rid of artificial fragrances. You want to get rid of personal care products that have synthetic dyes, that have just synthetic like parabens and things of that nature. You want to go 100% clean when it comes to the foods, the things you put on your skin, the things you put in your skin as well as things that your food touches like plastics. The next thing you wanna do is improve the quality of sleep. And here's why, this kinda of goes in with number two and number three because number three is you wanna eliminate caffeine. These two go hand in hand because here's the thing, if you are fatigued all the time and you are constantly masking your fatigue with more and more and more coffee. You could be masking burnt out adrenals, you could be masking thyroid that is just not properly functioning, and you want to allow your body to heal naturally on its own, and it's not going to be able to do that if you keep masking all of these things with added caffeine. And I know that's going to be very challenging for a lot of you guys to do, but it is so important to detoxifying your body of caffeine and yes, even black coffee. Now you can have decaf if you just still want like the taste of coffee. But the thing is you have to remember you want to allow your adrenal glands to heal. If there is something malfunctioning with your thyroid, you cannot keep masking it with caffeine because that doesn't allow you to solve the root of the problem. You have to address the problem head on and getting quality rest, which is what your body actually needs to address the fatigue you wanna make sure you're getting a minimum of eight hours of quality sleep. Now, if that sounds like how on earth am I gonna do this, go to bed earlier, find a way, my friends, because this is going to make a very big difference. So the next thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you are getting sufficient protein with every meal. And this is so important because hormones are produced from amino acids. And a lot of people don't realize this, that there are peptide-based hormones that support physiological processes from growth, from controlling your appetite, stress, reproduction. It is extremely essential that you are getting adequate amounts of protein with every single meal, because if you're not, your body is not going to have the building blocks needed to create the hormones it needs. And if you are having nutrient deficiencies, which is probably one of the most common reasons why people have hormone imbalances, you're not going to have the building blocks essential to building the hormones your body needs. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to engage in regular exercise. I know that sounds basic AF. However, the reason specifically you want to introduce exercise 
is because exercise boosts your insulin sensitivity and it lowers your body's insulin level. So what does this mean? If you are inactive, your body is going to have a harder time burning through higher levels of carbohydrates and higher levels of carbohydrates, insulin sensitivity is typically not that good for those who have hormone imbalances. So what that means is your body is unable to facilitate shuttling the carbohydrates that you do consume out of your blood and into your cells and to use the food you consume as usable energy. When that happens, your body is resistant to those carbohydrates and they end up getting stored as fat. It becomes a nightmare very, very quickly because it packs on very, very fast. That hormonal belly is very real and the exercise aspect of lowering your body's resistance to processing carbohydrates is very important. So you have to engage in regular exercise and you need to resist the urge to be inactive. The next thing you wanna do is you want to boost that fiber intake. Not getting enough fiber is probably one of the biggest mistakes I see people make, especially those on the ketogenic diet. Now you gotta remember when you're eating to boost your hormone balance, it may seem like a lot of the recommendations are similar to a ketogenic diet by going you know, lower in carb, going higher in dietary fats, but the thing is you don't necessarily need to go on a ketogenic diet. You need to be getting the appropriate nutrients and fiber is one of them. Foods high in fiber include chia seeds, flax seeds, hemp seeds. You wanna be careful with flax just because flax can be phytoestrogenic, so just be careful with that one. I'm putting an asterisk next to it. Seeds, nuts, avocado, leafy greens, you want to load up on the fiber and I'm talking north of 30 grams of fiber. And if you really, really, really want to accelerate your hormone balancing, fiber allows your body to detoxify excess estrogens through the liver and you'll actually release them when you defecate. So that is how they leave the body. Last but not least is proper supplementation. So the number one supplement I recommend is IC3, indole 3 carbonyl. It is the precursor to DIM, which, which IC3 converts to DIM in the acidic environment of the stomach. And what this does is this is scientifically proven to naturally detoxify the body of these excess circulating hormones. And this is so important. It is very natural. It's a very natural phytochemical. It is made of cruciferous vegetables. The thing you have to remember is the dosage. I carry this supplement and I have a hormone balancing supplement stack available on gagelife.com. We have a plant-based version as well as a regular version for those of you guys who need to be plant-based, we have both. The amount of cruciferous vegetables you would need to consume, get therapeutic dosage is on order of like over eight pounds. So it's much better to do the supplemental form in my professional opinion. So for those of you watching this and you're like, that sounds great. I didn't realize I could make such major changes in a very realistic time frame. I encourage you guys to pick up the hormone reset program that I have. I have a plant-based version. I also have a regular version. The regular version includes chicken, eggs, turkey, and salmon, and collagen, and bone broth as protein sources. The plant-based version is completely vegan and you will not find any of those things. The entire program is anti-inflammatory, dairy-free, gluten-free, grain-free, all of those things. And it is a 21-day program. It is highly effective. And you can actually follow it longer than 21 days if you wish, because it is just such an amazing protocol. And for watching this YouTube video, I'm going to allow you guys to save $50 off of this package with code CH50. CH50 will allow you to save $50 off of the hormone reset nutrition plans on gagegirltraining.com. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.